Ja. Okay. Wow. Hi everyone, it's Kino here. This is a quick, easy yoga class for a lazy day. <laughs> come to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes. Rest your hands down to any comfortable position and just check in with the quality of your mind. Notice your breath and tune into the physical body. Not every day needs to be like an Olympic trial. Some days are just lazy and your job is to accept it all with peace, love and harmony. Allow yourself a deeper breath and as you exhale, open the eyes and we'll get started when we'll get started over on your hands and knees. So come over onto your hands and knees and let's start to roll through the spine. Inhale, roll through the spine, extending. Exhale, round. Let's go all the way under. Do it two more times. Inhale, roll through the spine. Exhale, round. Let's go all the way under. One more. Inhale, roll through the spine. Exhale, round, let's go all the way under. Knees together, exhale, child's pose, keeping the arms outstretched. Come up onto the fingertips and focus on rolling the shoulders open. We'll stay for five breaths. One, deep, steady, resonant breath. Two, practice with no attachment, no plan, just move into the inner space of breath and body with gratitude even for a few moments on the mat and then inhale let's lift the head up and slowly come on back <laughs> to your hands and knees and we'll slowly begin to extend the right leg so activate your core muscles and then inhale reach your right leg back we'll hold this for five breaths give yourself a neutral spine to start one Two, if you're comfortable, extend the left arm. Three, four, and round. Let's go under. And let's do the left side. Start off neutral. One, two, if you feel all right, let's extend the right arm. Three, four, and round let's go under now let's go into a spinal extension as well so you add a little spinal extension one two three just lightly four five exhale let's go under try the other side one two nice and easy three reaching four and five let's round let's go under curl your toes under and inhale back to downward facing dog take a moment here feel your breath feel your body we'll stay for about five breaths one two draw the navel in keep the mind nice and calm three four rolling the shoulders open now let's switch your gaze forward bring your feet together and let's come forward to plank position so hold your plank nice and steady one two strengthen the shoulders activate the core muscles three shoulders down the back rib cage tucked in four and then let's go all the way down to the ground all right how you doing point the feet Come up onto the elbows and now for a nice long cobra hold. One. Remember, don't overdo it. Just nice and easy. Two. Lifting the chest, steady breaths. Three. Four. And five. Soften through the shoulders and inhale, upward facing. 
stay for another couple breaths. Soften the butt muscles. Try to lift the thighs off the ground. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing this time, right after you settle, let's step the right foot forward, planting the left knee on the ground. Point the toes and we'll come up into a lunge. Stay here for a few breaths and gently come up, lifting the spine up out of the pelvis. Feel that gentle spinal extension. Hands can be in prayer. One, two, stabilize with your right leg. Three, lifting up, so don't dump your weight back, but lift powerfully up as much as possible. Four, and five. Now, slowly take your left hand on the ground and drop the left hip as you look behind you. And we'll stay here for five breaths. One, keep it nice and calm. Two, three, belly inside, strong pelvic floor. And back to the center. Now take both elbows towards the ground and stay here nice and easy. One, two, keep the mind calm. Three, four, and five. Walk your hands back. Then let's inhale back to plank. Stabilize yourself in plank for a moment. Exhale, bend your elbows. Let's go all the way down to the ground. Inhale, upward facing. Long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, step your left foot forward, right knee, plant itself on the ground, point the right toes. Then inhale, gently come up. Pause and feel the breath in the body. Then lift the spine up and out of the pelvis. Hands in prayer. Stay for about five breaths. Keep it nice, calm and equanimous. No force, just breathing. Don't disturb the nervous system thinking you need to achieve a posture. Just be here. No rush, nowhere to go. Then slowly drop your right hand down. Hug the knee and spiral around. We'll stay here for a few breaths. Stabilize through the right arm. Be sure your collarbone is nice and safe. Steady breath, activating the right leg, dropping the right hip down. Keep it nice and calm. Inhale back to the center. Exhale both elbows down and just drop your chest. One, keep it nice and steady. Two, three. Let your torso slide down around your thigh. Four. And five. Let's curl the toes under. Inhale back to plank. Find your plank position. Exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga, or all the way down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, sink on down to your knees. Cross your feet. And let's come on to seated. Stretch your legs out forward, hands next to the hips, open the feet. This is Dandasana position. We'll stay for a few breaths. Then draw the navel in as you're here, lifting the spine up out of the pelvis. Experience that unity of breath, body, and mind that is the heart of yoga. Lift the ribs forward. Hold on to the big toes. If you can't reach them, hold on to the shin bones. Inhale, straighten the arms, draw the navel in, supporting the back, and then exhale, easy fold, rolling through the spine and dropping the head down. One, two, three, nice and easy, four, and five. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale there. Slowly roll the spine up and bend the right knee. Now as you bend the right knee, roll your right shoulder forward and around, taking the hands down. This is the beginning of a posture called Marichasana A, where you bring your chest down and around the inner thigh. You can stay here, not worrying about whether your hands bind or if it's comfortable for you. You can take your hands behind the back, 
as you draw the navel in and then exhale fold and we'll stay for a couple breaths one keep it nice and steady two keep feeling the inner body so find where you can best work the posture if it's more comfortable for you to just be here with the elbows down you're always welcome to dial it down a notch there's no pressure there's no force to think this is the this is the full expression of the pose and i have to get there you never have to get there just be here with your body and breathe let that be enough straighten the arms drop the right hip down and straighten the right leg now let's switch the sides bring the left leg up you just settle that thigh bone into the socket for a moment and then again what we're working on here is sliding the torso forward and around you can take the hands down lifting the left hip a little bit up to increase that hip flexion and potentially bending the elbows if you feel you can get deeper down we'll stay for a couple breaths just let the breath and the body come online so you can feel everything as long as you're feeling the yoga is working if there's an invitation to bind your hands if that feels right for you you're welcome to take that invitation and if not just like any invitation in your life you're welcome to decline there's never a pressure to accept any invitation not in yoga not in life so if it feels better to just rest the hands down go ahead and do that it's all good we'll stay for just another breath no force feel the body calm the nervous system straighten the arms now let's bend the right knee up it's one of my favorite things to do for the hips i will tell you that it's not so easy so be prepared for a, something that is harder than it looks open the knees just a little reaching the arms forward and then inhale roll through the hip joints come up find your squat and we're going to do that two more times exhale roll down through the hip joints inhale roll up through the hip joints last one exhale sink your pelvis down inhale come up hands in prayer let's stay for five breaths one two really support the back by drawing the belly deeply inside three nice and easy four and five let's take the hands down and now let's go for an arm balance to get a little bit of energy flowing bakasana position place the knees towards the upper portion of the triceps keeping the elbows as straight as possible and then start to pitch your body weight forward activating the core to lift make it easier you can do one and then the other and we'll stay for five one nice and easy two three if you didn't get up it's all right maybe switch the legs four you got to push weight forward into the shoulders and open the toes let's come on down step back plank that's all plank five more breaths one two nice and easy three four exhale chaturanga all the way down inhale upward facing nice and easy exhale downward facing from downward facing bend your knees cross your feet and we'll come forward i know you're really going to enjoy this one okay so take the arms forward activate the pelvic floor and we'll hold this for five breaths with the toes off the ground one two three steady breaths four five cross your feet take the hands in front of the pelvis and inhale hips back it up exhale down now straighten the legs only if that feels right for you one two Keep working, keep breathing. Three, four, five. Cross your feet. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale down. One more. One. Nice and easy. Two, three. Keep working. Don't give up. Four. Don't give up. Keep working. Cross your feet. Inhale, pick it up. Let's hold it. One, two, three almost there four five exhale go down shake that out for a moment good job cross your feet underneath you and then let's step all the way back find 
your plank position again. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, let's come to the knees. Cross your feet. And then slowly, let's roll the spine down. So just gently roll the spine down. Get comfortable. Enjoy the moment. Potentially closing the eyes. And then let's do legs up. Five breaths. One. Two. Really tune into the inner body. Three. The nervous system calms down. Let yourself be in a state of peace and tranquility. Four. Five. Okay, let's open the legs. Work the inner thighs. Five breaths. One. Two. Relaxing the mind. No goal. If there's discomfort, make sure it's comfortable discomfort so that it's not doing any harm to the body and you're able to keep the nervous system and the mind very calm. One more breath. Doing all right. Inhale, bring the legs back up. Bend your knees. Let's do the happy baby pose. Five more breaths. One. Two. Soften the mind. Three. Four. And bend your knees closer in. Heels press into each other. Let your spine gently come off the ground. Supta Baddha Konasana, just for a moment. Keep the heels in contact with each other. And then slowly extend the legs. And let's take rest. You might want to scoot back so you're more comfortably on the mat. And we'll just be here just for a moment. Enjoying that beautiful Florida sunshine. Keeping the eyes closed. Rest for a moment. And then allow yourself a long deep breath in. As you exhale, let's slowly moving hands and feet. Bend the knees up into your chest. Roll on over to the side. And come on back up to a comfortable seated position. We're almost done. Keeping the mind nice and calm. Turn the fingers open tips of the index fingers and the thumbs together, chin down, five breaths, and as you breathe, long deep breath in through the whole spine, long deep breath out from the head down to the pelvic bowl, every breath in, travel the full length of the spine as you inhale, the full length of the spine as you exhale, Keep breathing, keep feeling the inner body. Let's do one more breath, long deep inhale through the full length of the spine. Long deep exhale all the way down and gently open the eyes. Let's do some alternate nostril breathing. Close your, take your thumb, turn your hands. All right, so you wanna close your index fingers and your middle finger in, and we're gonna close the right nostril and inhale left. Close the left nostril, exhale right. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale left. Exhale right. Now we're going to switch the sides. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale right.
exhale left. Last one, inhale right. Exhale left. Return your hands to the yoga mudra position. Keep the eyes closed for a few moments of deep introspection. Bringing the attention to the heart center. Feel the heart space. Then gently bring your hands together and in the center of the heart, plant the seeds of a happier, more peaceful life. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be filled with love. May all beings be happy, be peaceful, be filled with love. Then allow yourself a conscious deep breath in. And as you exhale, softly open the eyes. Thanks so much for joining the practice with me. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you be filled with love. Namaste.